Hey, uh, guys came in uh, this morning. You see uh, the disappointment uh, on their face still. Uh, opportunity to learn from it uh, as we watch the tape. Uh, end of the day, uh, some of the things that we talked about going into the game, uh, we didn't do. Uh, we've got to play smarter football, uh, in particular on the offensive side of the football. Uh, you look at the drives, um, you know, most of them end with a, uh, a major penalty that puts you in, you know, second and extra long or first and extra long, and, and uh, the turnovers on the plus side of the territory as well. So. A uh, lot to learn from at the same time. Uh, you got to wash it, uh, whether you win or lose, and you got to move on to the next one. We got a great opponent coming uh, to town this week. Um, you look at Georgia, they play extremely well, smart football, physical football, all three phases of the, of the game. Um, you know, they uh, got dynamic playmakers in all three phases of the game as well. So, a uh, huge test for us. And uh, we got, uh, got to have a great week of preparation to get ready for these guys. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's the first time we've been back home uh, for an SEC uh, game inside Neyland Stadium in over a month. Uh, looking forward to, uh, to our fans, uh, seeing them there on Saturday. Need a great atmosphere. Uh, Dolly's going to be there uh, as well, so uh, my mom will be excited about that one. Right. We'll open it up for uh, questions. Uh, Brent and Sam. Coach, you've referenced multiple times this year that you need to play smarter. Yeah. You've talked about the penalties. How do you fix that? You guys have been penalized for three years pretty heavily. How do you fix yeah, that? Yeah, the uh, um, well, well, some of it, like personal accountability. Uh, some of it, you know, you look at uh, some of the penalties on the offense side of the football, the playing penalties, comes down to, to fundamentals and technique and body position. Um, you do those things right, um, you have an opportunity to not have some of those those things happen. Got to be smart at the end of play as well. I know you. I know you guys have officials at every practice. How yeah. how heavily do you? How closely is it flagged in practice type deal? How, how, how much do you scrutinize there? Yeah, I mean, they pay attention to everything that's going on. They're there for a reason. Um, you know, the way you finish plays in practice isn't necessarily the same as, as a game. Same in the back. How do you get the run game going again this weekend? Yeah, um, you know, part of it's the way the game ended and, and the type of scenario that you're, you're playing out. Uh, but bunch of it is, you know, us doing a great job, communication, fundamentals, uh, running backs, pressing the hole, doing a good job of reading things too. Uh, it's a combination of all those things the other night. Austin. Especially a couple times in the first half, uh, you like to fair catch the kickoffs. Then in the second half, you know, the defense won about seven or eight yards deep. Kind of what, who's to call this? Is that yours? Is that Eckler's? Is that D has got the flexibility to do what he wants to back there? Kind of what goes through all that? Yeah, um, you know, we have an idea of what we're doing before we go out there, but then based on the kick, too, uh, there should be a decision that's made uh, during the course of the play as well. Mike, and then Rob. Oh, uh, Coach, does it make it a little bit, I don't know if easier is the right word, but when, you, when you've got an opportunity game like this, you know, play on national television against the number one, does that help the guys maybe put a game like that behind them because – it is such a big opportunity yeah, for Yeah, I think no matter what you do the previous week, uh, you got to put the game behind you. Uh, certainly, we understand the quality of the opponent that's, uh, that's coming to town this week. Um, you know, our guys understand you know, who they are, what they're about, and, and the way that they're going to play. And uh, be a great test for us. Coach, you got dinner at receiver during the game at yeah. Missouri. What do you think about the way the guys stepped up down the depth chart? Do you have an update on Dante? Yeah, uh, Dante will be up for the, uh, for the remainder of the, the regular season. Um, we'll see where we're at as, uh, as we get into postseason play. Um, young guys, th there were some real positive things that they did uh, during the course of the game. Uh, Chaz, Caleb, um, you know, all in all, um, you know, like a majority of what they did. Adam? How much do you have to change offensively to compensate for the, for the injuries at wide receiver, first through the Dante? Can you really do anything scheme-wise this late in the year replacing them? Well, you're, you're always going to subtly change your, your scheme based on what you're seeing structure-wise and personnel-wise on the other side. Uh, you always try to put those guys in a position where they can go win. And, um, you know, in this one, there's a bunch of one-on-ones. It's going to be tight, contested coverage out on the outside. Uh, at the end of the day, they're going to have to go win some of those battles. Ben? Josh, how would you assess what I like? Yeah, um, the other day uh, I thought he got his eyes just caught in the, in the wrong place on a couple of, of his reads. 
Uh, missed a couple open field tackles, but he did some good things as well. Um, he's a young player that's got to continue to grow. He didn't play extremely well on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, first look, what jumps out about Georgia in terms of how they look compared with last year's team, personnel-wise, scheme-wise? Yeah, they got really good players across, across the board. Um, you know, defensively, big, strong, athletic uh, up front. Um, they can run. Um, they cover extremely well on the back end. They don't miss tackles. Um, you see them in, in close quarters and in open space. Uh, they tackle extremely well. Uh, offensively, they got dynamic playmakers. Um, you know, a few of those guys are just getting back and, and getting truly healthy right now. Um, but the quarterback's playing extremely well, really efficient and accurate. Um, you know, he's done a really nice job. Several producers wanted me to ask you, does it bring any pressure knowing that Dolly's going to be there? <laughs> Anytime Dolly's going to be around, it uh, certainly adds pressure, absolutely, to, uh, to our performance. But uh, uh, truly, you know what I mean, for, uh, for Tennesseans, um, that's, uh, you know, one that everybody will enjoy seeing. Patrick DeBrin. Coach, that's Mary McDonald, another guy that got banged up. Do you have an update yeah. on him? And uh, how did Jordan Thomas, he got a lot of run in the UConn game. How do you think he played in that start class? Yeah, I thought Jordan did some positive things, uh, was destructive, and, and made some plays out on, on perimeter. Um, you know, T-Mac got nicked up early in, in the football game. Uh, I do believe he'll have an opportunity to be ready for this one. Coach, when you look at your third down defense, obviously you had a hard time getting off the field. What, what was it that they were doing and how disappointing was the third and long uh, inability to get off the field. Period. Yeah, inability to get off the field. Part of that was quarterback extending and making plays with his feet running and also scrambling and, and getting outside of the pocket. Um, you know, for us, you got to do a good job of applying pressure to him too. You can't let him sit back there all day. Um, but he broke contain on us. That was disappointing. Some of our twist games, um, you know, our contained player didn't get there. He got out, out through the middle of the football field once or twice too. Um, we got to do a better job. That'll be big in this one too, um, and, uh, and we got to match things out on scramble drill. Anything else for coach? One last one with me. You, you said post game that you were disappointed with the way that that the team finished. Yeah. You know, what did when you watched it on tape? What did you see? What, what did you mean? In terms of that, was that one specific drive, or was it just the whole? Just the, the last couple, it? last couple of drives. Um, you know, going back and watching watching it, I, a lot of them did continue to, to play hard. I just didn't think we played very smart at the end of it. So, I'm disappointed in that. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You guys Thank have you. a great day.